Hi everyone, this is Professor Chuck Wood coming at you from Duquesne University once more. Today's topic that we're going to be discussing is the uh, 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 encryption or cryptography from the CISSP, one of the 10 domains that they use. Um, the first question we have is, what is AES? And AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. Uh, uh, the uh, U.S. government adopted it in 2001 after having some encryption standards that ended up being hacked. Uh, this seems to be very secure. Uh, it was developed in Belgium by two developers. It was originally called Regindal, and, uh, but most people just call it AES now. And uh, it seems to be the most popular encryption standard. Okay, the next question is, what bit operation is used most often when you encrypt? Okay, that is, that bit operation is called XOR, or XOR, some people call it, or just XOR. Okay, the, uh, the benefit of XOR is that when you encrypt with an XOR instruction, an XOR key, you can use the, that same XOR key with the encrypted passcode to de-encrypt it. So the key can be used for encryption and decryption almost every uh, standard uh, encryption methodology uses some form of XOR at some point in the process. And so it's a, a very uh, uh, important bit operation to be used and it's, a, a, like I said, almost everyone uses it when they develop some type of encryption package. Okay, the next question is, what is the SSL or the secure socket layer? Okay, when you're online, uh, the uh, web access is normally done through uh, HTTP is not encrypted. If you put it through HTTPS, uh, the data you send, like visa numbers, passwords, becomes encrypted. So that if someone is outside your company looking at a router and the information that's going over that router, then that person will not be able to read the encrypted information. Uh, lately, SSL has been attacked by a, uh, 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 a, a hack called Heartbleed, the Heartbleed virus, on Apache servers only. Um, since uh, uh, about two years ago, it's, it's been replaced with uh, an encryption standard called a TLS, or Transport Layer Security. Uh, they're both very uh, uh, well used now, and you don't belong sending any private information over the web unless it has a little HTTPS, which then you can be ensured is either using SSL or TLS to encrypt before the information is sent. Okay, the next question is, what does a signature do? Okay, now a signature is a hidden bit of, file, bit of code in a file that can be sent to a third party. And the third party will verify that the person sending you that information is indeed that person. So if I send you a note that says, I'm your bank and please give me your bank account password, uh, you can and I digitally signed the file, you can take that digitally signed file to the third party and they could say, well, this is not the digital signature of the bank. And you would know that it's false. Okay, so, so uh, the reason this is, is a good thing to do is, is if I uh, send you a secured information, you can be sure it's me. And later, if I send you some secured uh, information that has a signature on it, you can verify later that I did indeed send it to you. So. If I come, late, come back later and say, I never sent you that. You could say, yes, you did. Here's your digital signature, and uh, we know it was you. Okay, so, so non-repudiation and uh, uh, authentication are both big aspects of uh, digital security, and almost everyone's using them now for any type of document. Okay, and then finally, what is a dictionary attack? Okay, when you encrypt... Uh, a file, a passwords, whatever, I get, if I download that file, it all looks like gobbledygook to me because it's been encrypted. But if I have the algorithm, the code that you use to encrypt, I can encrypt an entire dictionary and try to match up your encrypted word with the encryption of the, dic the dictionary encrypted word. And if they match up, then, I have a, then I'll know what uh, word you used for your password. A, a, a variant of this is called a rainbow attack or a, a dictionary brute force attack where I combine the dictionary word with common numbers 111, 222, 333, 123, 234, 456, 
and I combine them together and encrypt that to see if that matches up. Okay, so all the modern hacks have been using a variant of that, all the hacks into the Apple Cloud have been using a variant of that dictionary attack to find the passwords of, of uh, uh, celebrities or, or to uh, 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 download passwords from unsuspecting people who have that, the, the companies have their entire file downloaded. Once I get your password, you tend to use that password for everything. So I might have the password to your bank because I downloaded the password to that little uh, website that you thought was a fun website to go to. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Don't forget to check out my books on Amazon. The link is below. I think I'm pointing to it. And uh, uh, thanks for hitting my uh, site today.